kept seeing a car go into the water. All day they've been showing me reruns in my mind of adventures with purpose. VP's gonna find her in that in the Prosser Lake. We have found Kylie Rodney's vehicle. Again, our search for Kylie at Prosser Creek Reservoir on August 21st at 10. There are plenty of questions and very few answers after four students at the University of Idaho were found murdered in their off-campus house. It's like if you look at Ted Bundy's eyes and you look at his eyes, they're the same. Maybe a little bit lighter. Uh, the one thing that I keep seeing is curls. So I don't know if he has curly hair or wavy hair, and that might be when it's grown out. I think he dungated, like his his face might be a little bit longer. Um, there's a reference to a pointier type nose. He honestly looks a lot like Ted Bundy, but like a jacked up uh, Ted Bundy, okay. like not as handsome. I keep getting like a like a security guard or a a badge, getting like a Brian or something like that. It's because they are gonna catch him because I keeps I'm seeing him in an orange jumpsuit. He wasn't as smart as he thought he was. Okay. Um, he's probably going to go to jail for this eventually. I keep getting December. The name Richard again. I also get the name Rick. The damn name Allen is coming in again. I jailed 50-year-old Richard Allen in connection with the double murder. Teen best friends Libby German and Abby Williams went hiking on a trail and never came home. Done on November 20th. 2019 at 7:14 p.m. Quentin or Quentin, but I'm seeing trash and I don't. 42 Wednesday morning. Quentin Simon's mom told 911 her little boy was gone. I do keep hearing a trash truck though. Then I keep hearing the trash truck. It's almost that's one thing I can't get rid of is the twisting of the trash bag, and um, so then I'm like, well, is he in the trash? Okay. Unfortunately, I hate to say that. I do hear landfill could be the only well, tonight. A heartbreaking search underway in Georgia for a missing toddler. Police are sifting through trash at a landfill for the remains of 20 month old Quentin Simon. And I felt like he was going to be found that was earlier in the day. A three year old boy found alive and in good health. And I said, like, with three within three miles, but I'm not seeing him being hurt and I'm not seeing someone coming up and getting him. And I said, Were you alone? Yes. The main two things I keep getting is the wooded area and the shed. Well, to take cover in that shed. Late into the night to find. I see him running to the woods. Oh, I keep getting the repeated image of him running to the woods. Okay. So maybe he decided he wanted to go play and then he kind of got lost in the woods. Be within two miles. I keep getting that. Getting a reference to the edge of the woods. And so he's still alive because I'm not using him to get this information. Right. Around in the woods, like I can't, I can't find my way out. I like I'm stuck. Like, in a, and I said he's in a bush. Okay. Uh, I went across a, a field um, of grass. I came up on some woods. Sure enough, I went in the woods, and about a hundred feet from where I was at, he was. I think he was in some stickers. There's a lot of stickers and all there. Tonight in our missing series, a case that we have heard a lot about from our viewers. She wa he wants to take me down the road to another, to like a neighbor's house or something, like another farm. I also hear neighbor. It, he said he knows this guy. He knows him. And he's a neighbor. I don't know what the friends come in. Respect. 58-year-old James Brenner, who also happens to be Dylan's closest neighbor in the remote desert area of Lucen. Hi guys. So, hope everybody is doing well. Um, going to be doing a little bit more work on Rachel today just because I am kind of struggling <laughs> with letting go of it. Um, she kind of was bothering me the other morning that after I did this reading, um, I kept getting like headache and neck ache and just I didn't feel good. I had to lay down. So I really think that there's stuff that I'm missing in this case that I'm going to try to get. Um, if I can't get it from her, which I'm going to try to get it from her, then I will try my um, the person that I consult with or the spirit that I consult with, I guess we should say. Um, <clears throat> so we'll see how it goes with her first and see what she's able to give me. If it doesn't go well, then we'll switch it up. But 
I think it'll be okay. So for Tammy is going to be here tonight for all you guys that have been saying that you're missing her. We've been missing her a lot, but, um, you know, due to schedule changes and whatnot. So she does it when we can, we do it when we can. That's just the way it goes. So those of you that are new here, um, I'm just going to explain a little bit of how I work, but all the ways to support me are down below in the description box. You can find my, my booking link there. You can find everything that you need to know there. Um, I do have a Patreon. We will get that up soon. I know that I'm late, but I ask everybody to please be patient with me as I try to struggle through private readings and everything else that I need to get done. It's all energetically draining, so I'm doing the best that I can. Um, I still do have my products. I am behind on that, though, but I appreciate your patience, and I am getting through them a little at a time. Um, but it is like a mini reading, so I am putting energy into that, more energy than I, that I thought I would be doing. Um, so I think I'm hoping things are getting better, but it has been cooler the last few days. So I've been feeling a little bit better. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get things up and running again. I'm doing the best that I can. So information that comes in can be past, present, or future. It can be symbolic or have multiple meanings. Spirit will often use my references, my experiences, how I relate to things to try to explain what I'm trying to, what they are wanting to say. So it's basically, they are trying to give me things telepathically and I am trying to translate. I am just a human connecting to the other realms who I do not know every single thing about every single thing. It doesn't work like that. Um, I think there's a lot of misconceptions on that psychics are supposed to know everything, but it doesn't work that way. Um, we are literally just a human that are able to tune into a vibration and to another radio station and get information. So um, do keep that in mind. Information will come in that's already out, but I'm going to say it anyways if I get it. So um, they will talk about facts and things um, in order to kind of validate stuff as we go along. Plus, they want to tell their story. So I'm just going to give whatever I get. I try to stay away from cases, cases as much as I can, except for stuff that's being validated. If you have not seen the first reading, go back to it. Um, information was in that one and pray that it's right. So um, as I get information, uh, Tammy's going to validate what she knows, but there's not much to validate on this. So she's just going to be saying yes and be somebody to bounce off of. Again, for the hundredth time, she does not need to know everything. She is just there to be a sounding board to bounce back off of. So I, there's someone to talk to to keep the energy flowing. It keeps the energy uh, going so that I'm not kind of like all up in my head. Um, it's just the best way that we figured out I give readings. So um, I think I already mentioned that things are as we perceive them. So however it makes sense for the case, however it makes sense, I might perceive things right and I might perceive them wrong. I try to perceive them the best way that I can, but I normally just try to tell you guys what I'm seeing and, and hopefully it'll make sense in the end. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm missing. So everyone is in a till -prov proven guilty. This is just, um, entertainment purposes only. Viewer discretion is advised, and um, there's this is not facts. This is my opinion or spirit's opinion or however you want to say it, psychic medium impressions. That's all this is. Um, so no one is pointing fingers at anybody or any of that. I am just giving Rachel a voice and trying to communicate what happened in her words and as much as she wants to tell me. But everything does have a timing. So, again... She will only give me what she's supposed to give me in the time and I'm supposed to receive it. Um, I am not the police. I am not here to solve anything. I am just here to give her a voice and put the information out and hope that it leads to something that is helpful. Um, I think that's basically it. So I'm going to go ahead and bring Tammy on. And Tammy's back. Hi. Everybody say hi to Tammy. <laughs> she's back. She's back. All right. So, um, I'm just going to start scribbling and I'm, I'm using, I'm going to use a different picture this time and use this one. Um, okay. I use a completely different one last time, but we're going to try this one and see, I can already tell you that as soon as I pulled her picture up, I started feeling what I always feel with her and that's all up in my head. Um, but like my nose, especially, and I know that we know that she's been hitting the face and stuff, but there's a couple things I didn't say last time. Um, that I was on because I was like, I don't know how to say this. Like, I don't know how to describe it without being overly brutal with what I was right. saying, you know, but it was like someone's on top of me and was like bashing me. And that's what, that's one vision that's been repeating since I got off last time. So I'm hoping by saying it, it will stop. But okay. about two days before um, 
this whole thing started, I kept seeing a rock come at me, like in my peripheral. And I didn't know where it fit. Okay. So I didn't put two and two together <laughs> put two and two together until we did the reading. And then I was like, oh, it's probably Rachel. But that's why I was thinking about her. So that's why I always tell people like I I work the cases that I'm drawn to because I'm I think I'm only supposed to work certain cases. And I'm right. And yep. especially because of my interconnects. That's, I think that's one thing I forgot to mention is I do have interconnects, so not everything will fit here. Although we're doing it this way and it's more focused, spirit will give what they want to give. So if they want to interconnect other cases, for instance, the teacher that came in the last one, yep. um, then they will. Plus, there was like uh, some things out there weren't true about her being a teacher. So it could have both meanings, the multiple okay. meaning thing. Um, all right, my freaking leg is falling asleep all of a sudden. I always have like a, a hard time breathing with her too for some reason. Like I can't catch my breath, but really whenever I connect to her, I get like a throbbing, like pulsating feeling in my head. Okay. And my pen is being like ridiculous. It keeps going, working and then not working, working and not working. I can't deal with that. Okay, so things may repeat from before. So she shows me like her out having a drink or kind of partying. Um, I feel like she had those moments where she liked to go out and have fun, things like that. Um, she was still very young at heart, and I think she's tried to stay young. Like, I don't know if that's where like all like whatever she could have done, she had done to kind of keep her looks up, but make her be young. Because I think maybe she had it. Like, maybe she felt like she was getting older, but she wanted yeah. to still look younger. You know how some people, like, they really start taking care of themselves so that they can keep their looks. Like, that was really important to her. She says, yeah. you can call me shallow or not. That's how I felt. Um, yeah. And that's just what she puts out. And she, But she does have that bright energy. Like, I feel like a lot of people are attracted to her. Yeah. So, um, you know, males, females, whoever they were, but she also had a lot of jealousy going on in her life that people that didn't like her. So there's a, yep. there's a lot of both and, you know, people that are like her that are beautiful and have things going or, or might get off with, you know, get along with men. Cause I feel like the men flaunted over her because she says yeah. like, I'm a, uh, <laughs> I'm a real life Barbie. Like that's kind of, she does look like a Barbie. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. And now that song's going off in my head about Barbie girl, Barbie girl. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Now that song's going off. Um, so that's how she kind of looked at herself and considered herself. But she mentioned this the last time that we were, that I channeled her was that uh, she didn't have the best taste in men. Like she mentioned that the last reading. Um, and I feel yeah. like she did not but it also comes across like she was never happy with the men that she chose. Like she was always looking for more. She was always looking for um, someone that was, that was better. Like she had high standards and she had low standards, but at the same time she loved the attention. I don't know, like it, but she had a type. She had, like she said, the bad boy type, like she said yeah. in the last reading. She said in the last reading, like okay. she went after the, and, and it's weird because it's not really about looks with them either. Right. Like they're not all these hot, like model looking men. They're, <laughs> that's what she's showing me. Like, it, it seems like they're all different. Like they don't all look the same. It's just their lifestyle or their past, or I don't know. And in the fact that they would give her attention. Um, okay. But I feel like she got a lot of attention. Like I, and I don't really feel she comes across as not being all that loyal all the time either. Okay. That's just, and, and, and she's like, I'm fessing up. I'm, I'm fessing up. This is, this is the way I was, you know, take me or leave me, but that's her personality take me or leave me that's how i am and i have to commend her for that because we are who we are right. we can't be who we are um you either like me or you don't like me that's it but right because of how she was i feel like there's enemies and jealousy going on at some okay. point and when i got off the last reading i kept getting i always get irritated because sometimes i'll get stuff after i get off and i'm like walking around doing stuff like randomly when i'm not thinking about it the custody thing 
Okay. Kept getting like a custody thing. And then everybody's like, oh, there's a custody thing. And I was talking about it in the chat of the last reading. And I was like, dang it. Why oh. didn't come in through the reading? I don't know why it comes in later, but. Right. But, um, <clears throat> but I think the reason why she wants to talk about the, her youngest two was because, um, like they're younger. Yeah. And in a, despite of it all, her, her babies, she calls them her babies. Yeah. So I don't know if she always called her baby, like her kids, her babies, like my babies, yeah. my babies, they still meant a lot to her. Right. And I wonder, does she have like, uh, is her, do you, do you know, like of her older kids? Like if she has an older daughter, I don't know. It didn't say whether or not. Okay. Um, Cause I keep wanting to go to like this. I keep getting 16, which I know I feel like someone told me that she had a 16, but it's like, she keeps showing me like a female um, or an older 16 year old or older. Okay. The oldest is the oldest is a, a daughter, the way that it comes across, but I don't know if that's right or not, but it kind of feels that way because it comes across like I'm giving tips and tricks. Like, I think okay. she does have a daughter. It didn't say it just said older. three to 16. Uh were the ages okay um because it it comes across as is like i'm giving tips tips and tricks like makeup tips and and boy things and all that kind of stuff to like an older daughter yeah. i mean it kind of feels like that might be the 16 but i'm not sure um i'd be curious because yeah. all that's kind of hidden which i respect and which is which is good their stuff shouldn't be out there anyways right. <sighs> but it, they're like her kids look like like there's a daughter or a female that looks like her or that Kay. favors her, I guess I should say. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm not sure. But yeah. I still get a strong independent vibe with her. That's just how she was. Um, she's a self-made woman. She didn't really need anybody to take care of her. That doesn't mean she didn't like being taken care of. And she says, let's face it, who doesn't like SEX? Sorry. That's not me. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> and I think she was trying to say that in the first reading, that that's how she was, but I wanted to be respectful about how I said it. Um, and that's just the way she, that's just the way she, <laughs> she's a little different this time, but she's like, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe when I was younger, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about now. Um, right. I don't know if there is, and this was kind of coming in, but then something else came in uh, and I kind of missed it. So it's coming back, but um, there's some kind of confrontation um, that I feel like happened. I don't know if it's on the phone or if, or it feels like a confrontation or an argument with somebody prior to this. I want to connect okay. it back to like, like, um, like I'm arguing with an ex or I'm having a confrontation with someone that's related to an ex. Like it comes back that it's connected to someone um, that and it might, might or might not have anything to do with this. But right. she keeps referencing her younger kids. So okay. besides the fact that they're going to grow up without her and that they were the ones that needed her the most. Um, I don't know if there's another reason for referencing those younger kids because she keeps taking okay. me back to the younger kids. So I don't know if the two are it I know her two are younger and they're like closer in age. Like that came in the last time, but I just wonder if like those two have the same dad or if those I know um <clears throat> the last reading I got different dads. What's been validated since then, but there's only four and there's five yeah. kids. So it makes me wonder if the yeah. the last two belong to the same dad or two of them do. But um th there's just a reference to the younger children. Okay. So I don't know if there was an argument over custody, an argument over something. Okay. But she also keeps taking me to um, oh. <sighs> she's taking me back to the this bar. Um, okay. 
So I don't know if, if like before this all happened, like she was at a bar or she was hanging at a bar. Sorry. I get flies are getting fried. <laughs> um, but I feel like I'm sitting on someone's lap. I'm having a drink. I'm enjoying myself. Like she liked to let loose too. Like, like I said, there's a good balance between everything. But I think that there might be, you know, the other parent or people around the other parent maybe didn't agree with that. Maybe they thought that she was yeah. not a good mom. Or because she liked a party or because of who she was, like they looked at her. I feel like I'm being looked down upon, but I also feel like I'm, I'm like, someone's like jealous and like really hates me. Like okay. that comes across. Um, and like I said, I feel like I'm missing something with this, but I'm not really sure what it is. Like it, yet. I hope she brings it in, but um, because she's been bugging me about, like that I feel like I'm missing something like I'm not giving the whole story um and that might be me that might not be her that's missing it that's not getting it but because I try to put everything out of my mind that I already know or already think right but you know how all the other all like the other design trails are usually it's by someone that's like just randomly and they just attack them and this just feels different to me this just feels more like it was anger towards her it was anger towards her looks and okay. i feel like maybe there was even things that were done to like throw things off um okay. like it doesn't come across like like really sexually motivated it comes across as i hate you okay i want to do away with you like you're in the way like you she's done something to tick somebody off okay that's the way that it comes across um, and I don't, th again, there comes across with a confrontation, but I also get a confrontation with a female, but I'm not sure who the female is, but I still get that brown hair, brown eyes. There's, or like the same, it's kind of the same female I was seeing, but there's, there's some kind of confrontation or something that happened. Um, I don't know why she's talking about her debit card either. Because I hear debit card. Okay. I have no idea what that means. I don't know. Um, not sure. Uh, and what I keep seeing, what's really throwing me off is... I was telling you this earlier, but I keep seeing a, a woman running away in a black sports bra and a brown ponytail, like running okay. away from the scene at that time. Okay. It's really, it's really odd. I don't understand it. A witness, maybe? Uh, it doesn't feel like a witness because it's the same ponytail I was seeing that was like, I feel like there's a female involved in this. Now, what capacity they're involved in it, I'm not sure, but that's going to be the twist and turn that people aren't going to be expecting. That's the way that it comes across. Like, this is not what people expect. There's jealousy and hate here surrounding a woman. But okay. there's also a man that I keep pulling to. And I think that's what I was missing is I didn't make it clear last time that there's also a man involved now, whether where they were both there in the trail i'm not sure but the thing is is when i was getting them her being attacked it was like i saw somebody coming from behind and someone coming from front and i didn't know if that was like i didn't know what that meant but my mind flashed to maybe there was two people but it kind of i'm not sure but the way she put them like in all black but I don't know if yeah. that's symbolic or not. Like some things, sometimes things are literal. Sometimes they're not literal. Right. So it could be just somebody hiding their appearance. But I was wondering like, okay, so the one fact I know that we were talking about her being stripped. Right. Yeah. And leaving like that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that she was essayed. It could be that they were taking the, the clothes because of evidence and they thought there was DNA on them. It could be that they're leaving her exposed because look at you now, B. Like that's what I'm yeah. hearing. You know, so yeah. it, I hear jumped, like I'm jumped. Yeah. You get that before, but. Um, 
What's weird though is when I try to when I try to pick up the man, I can't I can't get I can't see him. Okay. I'm having a hard time seeing him for some for some reason. Um, and I again I don't know what capacity each of them are involved in, but it seems like the female was there from what because it feels like that's where the anger is directed at, anyways, is at my face, my looks, who I am as a person. Okay. And it could be the reason why I keep getting um, the person hiding in the tunnel. It maybe not, maybe not mean that she was running into the tunnel, but the person that was there or one of the people that was there was hiding in the tunnel, and that's where they came from. If it was a blitz attack, they could have came from different places. But um, right, yeah. It. What I didn't. She keeps talking about drag marks, and I know that was kind of mentioned in the chat, but um, I keep seeing them. I saw that before, but I didn't mention it because I was questioning it because I also saw a pool of blood. Okay. Um, uh, she's talking about money. I don't know. Okay. I see cash. I see cash. So I don't know if I don't know what that means. I don't know if someone was paid okay. or if if there's ca if they were worried about losing money, like child support money or something like that. I don't know. There's oh. there's cash money being being brought up. Um, okay. In that instance. But I know the cards I pulled, and I wasn't really, I was really questioning them, but the cards that I pulled were um, parental figure, bloodline, child, couple, male and female. So I just wanted to go wow. over the cards that I pulled again, um, because now I'm, now that I've had time to think of it. Yeah. But this feels very personal. This feels very directed. And she's, for some reason, she keeps taking me back to the children. Okay. So there, I'm wondering if there's some kind of motive there more than just these kids are growing up without me. It just, there's a reason for it. Right. But I also don't pick up that the people that were involved in this, the way that it comes across is they didn't, um, like, they don't live in the area. That come in before. Like, they came from, like, whenever I get a line, it can be state, city, county, but it's on the other side. So okay. I keep getting that crossing the line. So they came over a border of some sort, either state, city, county, maybe even a bridge. But um, there's that coming in. Okay. Also, so... I, I don't know if they've checked. I'm sure that they've checked those trash cans because I was getting they were blue, but um, it might be a trash can that's further down that maybe they didn't check. And it might be underneath stuff in the trash. So if I were the cops, I would go through the trash. But also, I know that there's train tracks by there, but she's showing me the train tracks. So okay. I don't know if someone came and left, if there's a back way through the train tracks, by the train tracks, or if there's some kind of evidence, blood, blood droppings, whatever, over by the train tracks. I'm not really sure how close the train tracks were to where she was found, but they, okay. they, they're coming in as being significant. Maybe evidence. Maybe they threw something over there. I don't know. Okay. But there's, but there's, I keep getting train tracks and hearing a train. So okay. also okay. I don't know if how, like if someone could park over by the train tracks and not be seen, you know, it, right. it could be that there could be tire tracks there. There's some kind of something over by the train tracks. Okay. But I want to go, I don't know what side the train tracks are on either, but I want to go on this side of where she was found. But um, I would just, I would check the train tracks. Hmm. And on the front of my neck is hurting now. Like seriously with her, like I do get a heaviness in the chest, like I can't breathe, which at the same time would make sense. Anyways, yeah. with the whole attack that was going on, it's just all up here. So it would make sense. Um, she says brutalized. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm just going to say it. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. I keep, getting, I keep getting across. 
Now, I don't know if that means there's a church nearby, if someone was religious, or if there will be a memorial, but I'm just seeing a, a brown cross. Okay. Oh, no. Hmm. Are you freezing again? My, my whole computer just went white. I can't see anything. I can see you. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's um, weird. Yeah. Also, I'd like to know who has like a, I get like a dark colored SUV and I don't know why that's coming in. Um, but there's also a reference okay. to a car. I wonder if two cars were involved. Because it's, oh, it's weird. Oh, I keep getting like a split in directions. Maybe they were both there. Maybe the male and female were both there. Okay. But I still feel I don't I don't like I don't know. I it's weird because it's like visions are like looking through a dirty glass. So they're not always clear. It's like you can kind of see what's going on, but it's blurry. And then sometimes okay. like things like you can't catch up with things. Like I can't I'm having a hard time telling if there's two different people or there's just one. Right. She just showed me a weird vision. I'm just going to tell you what I see. Um, and it might be, there might not be literal. It might be kind of symbolic in a way, but um, it's like, I see a woman standing over her and she takes off her mask and looks at her. Not that she necessarily had a mask. She might've had a hood or whatever, whatever she was covering herself with. But it's like, I'm taking off the mask and I'm standing over her body and I'm looking and I get the long brown hair again. Now, I'm not really sure. There's a reference yeah. to, oh, I don't know. I'd like to know what happened with her clothes, but then I keep seeing, it's almost like she puts up her hair and she takes off running. So I feel like whoever did this, they obviously covered themselves up, but they left the area like they're walkers or joggers or something like that. Like it's, it, it, it comes across okay. as this was very, this was very planned out. This is very to the T. And again, it comes across okay. as maybe these are people that no one's going to suspect. And maybe they think they've got to clean away, you know, away with it. Like they didn't leave any evidence. But I feel like there's evidence. Like even if it's okay. just that strand yeah. of hair I kept seeing that maybe they thought they took, they that they didn't get on her. But I feel like she takes me back to that. Because whenever she showed me the woman that was in jail with the orange on in the last reading, it was like burned into my mind. Like I couldn't get away from it. So there's a reason for that, okay. that there will be a woman arrested in some aspect that I can't let go of. Like it's, that's just, it's, it's there. Okay. Um, but she keeps saying blitz attack, whatever that means. I don't really know what that is. I know. I kind of know, but. I have to Google what a blitz attack is. It's kind of the same as jumping, isn't it? Like being attacked. Well, I know, like, I think a blitz might be like un, like out of nowhere kind of thing, maybe. I don't know. I have to look it up. Yeah. Um, I'm looking it up. A sudden, overwhelming military attack during a war is what it's Well, says. I mean, it would, I mean, she was fighting for her life, so it's just, uh, yeah. um, and this side of my head is, like, hurting really bad. But that's what I kept seeing, like, the last reading is I just kept seeing someone on top of her just, like, bashing her. But I'm wondering if there's not two people there, because then I see this other person standing over her. But okay. I, I don't understand, like, if it's at the same time or if it's afterwards. Okay. You know. Um, I keep getting a reference to the guy's like not hot. Like he's not like, he's <laughs> not cute. Like he's not cute. Um, or he's like scruffy. Uh, I get brown hair with him too, but like I don't see him that clearly. Okay. But still she brings in her to younger kids again. Huh. I don't know. This is really weird. I don't know. Um, <sighs> I 
For some reason, I'm getting court and I'm hearing the banging of a gavel. Okay. But there's also a reference to like the like, um, like a man being hung up on her as well and interfering in like the relationship, or that there's, or maybe she still talked to the man, or there because there's a lot of jealousy and hate coming from the woman and like screwing up like she feels like she's screwing up her life. Um, hmm. and I think I forgot to mention that. Not everything is going to be connected to her. It can be connected to victim, the victim, the family, the people around the area. <sighs> yeah. Because sometimes every time I say things, they're like, "Oh my gosh, that doesn't talk that like that sounds like two different people." But I could be describing people around her. People are, you know, people around the perp. It's not necessarily just everything is connected to her. Um. I think this is going to be solved like soon. Like I keep getting news and cameras and things like that. Like I see someone taken away in cuffs. I keep getting reference to like a, a plaid type looking shirt that short sleeves. I don't know if he always dressed this way. Um, and usually, you know, whenever I get news and stuff like that happened with Quentin and then he was found. So usually when I get news and stuff, but I see somebody taken away in handcuffs, I think that there might be a male and female arrested. I don't know if that's just like one like con conspiracy to commit murder kind of thing and then committing the murder like that kind of comes in like this was a planned kind of thing and they're going to be able to prove that it was planned at some point. But right. um, the thing is, is I feel like the cops are looking for just a random person because usually people attract on the trail on the trails are usually it's usually sexually motivated it's usually a random person and maybe i think that's why they chose to do it this way is that they're right. trying it feels like they're trying to make it look like something else because i hear i hear talks among two people and it's like well we could do this way or we could do that way like there's a plan taking place there's a plan happening um as far as the person that like found him, I, I, I can't explain that. I don't know. I, I think that it may connect to the daughter, but I mean, I don't know. When I go back to the cards, it, again, it feels like it's someone that connects to her directly. Okay. Or the way that it comes across. I'd like to see what the girl looked like that found her, but. Um, right. Yeah. Because there could, like, be a jealousy thing there, too. But it just, it's the fact she keeps taking me back to her kids, there's something there. Right. Yeah. I just feel like I'm missing something still that I can't quite get. That she's going to bug me about until I get it right. I, I'm either not perceiving something right or I'm not getting something she's trying to give me. Um, I don't know if I connected to Ted if I would get more. I don't know. There's something coming in about, I don't know if it's a law or a bill Okay. that connects back to her. I don't really know what they would, why. Um, but also she shows me, she keeps showing me like, I don't know if they're adding cameras on the trails or they're adding security, which is an obvious thing. Um but I don't think this is anything the community has to worry about. That's not the way it comes across. Which is not what I was expecting when I went into this. Um, right. There was cameras and stuff mentioned. Yeah, I mentioned the cameras on the first one. And, like, oh. I think they know where the cameras is. I think, I think it's, like, and I see, like, I see a woman in a car watching her. Okay. 
like I feel like <clears throat> her movements were tracked. She knew where she was going to go. They know the trail. They know the area. They know where the cameras are. But I think maybe they missed one because, like I said, I thought there's. But I think that they're adding more because I think the way that this comes across is I I, I hope that I'm not wrong in, in everything that I'm saying because I never want to lead anything in a wrong direction. I'm just trying to understand right. what she's giving me, but um. It doesn't come across that this is like a normal situation of what cops usually think it is. And that's why it was chosen to be this way or done this way. They wanted okay. to, to make it look like it was random. Because I feel okay. like it was made to look like something that it's not. Like, I keep okay. getting that. Like, it's, I hear setup. Like, I keep getting like a setup too. It's weird. It's almost like I keep hearing this and it's not going to make sense, but I don't know if it's literal or not, but sure. <sighs> yeah, I don't even want to say it because I don't know if it's right. I don't know how it fits. Um, I keep getting a reference to like murder for hire. So I don't know if they were, I don't know if they were there or they just had it done, but See that the way I keep going back to the way that it, this happened, it feels like something a female could have done with rage and everything like that. Okay. So I really don't know where that's coming in at or what it what it could mean, unless maybe they thought about doing a murder for hire and then they didn't go. You know, they ended up not doing that, or they looked right. for people, or they looked for people at some point. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> this feels all out of whack and all weird <laughs> this feels even weirder than idaho 4 like i feel like yeah. it's going to be all kinds of twists and turns and then like how everybody was surprised with idaho 4 it's going to be the same thing here like everybody's going to be like whoa what the heck just happened okay yeah because it's going to be people like you're not going to expect right i don't know i don't know i don't know um There is drugs that's coming into play, though, but I don't know in what facet it's coming in around her. Um, okay. I'm not really sure. And it might not even be anything major either, but I don't know what, like, the what, what they mean by that. Um, okay. She says, I'm not going to lie, there was, like, shady shit going on in my life. Okay. So she's um she's very honest with I feel like she's a very honest and upfront person anyways. She'll tell you how it is, she'll tell it like it is. She doesn't like hold anything back. She's very confident in that way. That's the way that she comes across. Okay. Yeah. It's, I don't understand this. I, it's just, I keep getting the reference to, and I hope my mind isn't playing into this. So sometimes it's really hard to not make your mind play into this, but what the, heck? the way that it comes across <laughs> is it's like, we go there covered up. Okay. And then like, we commit the act. Like they've, it's almost like they've gotten, like they're covered so they don't get blood on them. They don't get, you know, it, they're covered up. Yeah. And then it's like, but underneath they have like jogging gear on and it's, I keep seeing them taking off the jogging gear and this is why I'm wondering if there wasn't two people there and splitting and going different directions and why maybe I'm getting two cars too. But it's, it, that doesn't mean both of them. I don't know. It's, it feels like a trap, like, uh, but I keep getting a reference to like, I'm un, like I keep getting a jacket being unzipped close, you know, them taking off whatever they had, putting it in something like a backpack or something like that. 
in taking off and maybe they dump it like in a, underneath a bunch of trash in a trash can. Or I don't know if they take it with them, but there is something that was put in a trash can at some point. I'm not just getting okay. the trash can because it's on the trail. It's got to be another specific reason. Right. And now earlier um, when you said that earlier when you said that I was literally thinking that about the trash were, can. No, about oh. how maybe like I was thinking maybe they were fully dressed and then looked like they were jogging and then went separate ways. So I was literally thinking that earlier when you said that. So just so you know, well, that came in the first reading as far as being oh. covered up and then taking off their clothes and throwing them away. But this time it's coming in more because I'm literally getting a zip down of the jacket, taking it off, uh, putting it in like a, a bag and then in a backpack. And it's like, okay. I feel like I'm going different directions. Like one goes one way and one goes the other. It's okay. very odd. It's very, very weird. But I keep getting that. So it makes me wonder if there's not two. That's so weird. Cause Okay. Yeah. I was thinking Which that earlier. I don't know why like a couple would want to do this, but I guess for the first time yesterday, I heard that this has happened multiple times where the couple has right. taken out someone that they know. So I guess yeah. it's because whenever I start to get stuff I've never gotten before, I start to question it like, whoa, is that even possible? Like what would make people do that? But I guess anything is possible these days right. when we think about it. So I got a quick yeah. guess, second guessing and, and thinking that it's wrong because I'm not making it up. Right. Um my mind can't be running away this much. Right. But every time I try yeah. to go to like, okay, this was someone random on the trail that just decided to attack her because they were thought she was hot and they were, it doesn't come up. Like, I can't do that. Okay. I keep seeing this freaking woman yeah. and they're burning this woman in my brain that I saw at the end of the last reading with the brown hair and brown eyes. But the only thing is I keep seeing her running away in a sports bra and in her hair up. So it's almost like she took off from the trail like that. She might have had a backpack or got rid of the backpack, but I keep seeing her and she's got a black sports bra. So the a part of me was like, well, where did the girls' clothes go? Were they where where did Rachel's clothes go? Were they left there? Did they take them with them? Did right. she put them on? Like I, that's just weird. I like I can't figure out if she if if that is part is true. Right. You know, like were they just like there randomly or because I keep, I know she's wearing that black sports bra, and I keep seeing the girl running away wearing a black sports bra. It's very weird, but I only see the back of the girl, and she's got a ponytail. But, like, her hair yeah. was, it's weird, because it's like, when she takes off the mask, I don't even know if she's wearing, really wearing the mask, or if it's just, like, not a literal thing, but a symbolic thing. But she's, like, right. standing over her, looking at her, and then it's like she puts up her hair, and it's like, okay, we need to do what we need to do real quick. But okay. this was like dusk. This was like dusk. And I don't know how many people were around, but it also feel like I'm a blitz attack at the right area. Like they knew because if she took this way all the time, it's almost like they knew exactly where to wait, where to hide. So she, they weren't going to see her. And I don't think there was really anybody around at that point in time. Very quiet, very kind of secluded area. Like they picked the, the perfect area to do it at. But I still yeah. feel like someone was in a tunnel or something at some point. I don't, okay. I know those big tunnels that have the drainage and like sometimes yeah. people do run through those if they're big enough. Like sometimes they do, but I keep getting a reference to like someone waiting in a freaking tunnel or waiting in the dark. Like I'm hiding in the yeah. shadows. I keep getting that. And yeah. so maybe I keep going back to maybe the fact that I was taken from behind and then someone came at me forward. Maybe the man took her from behind and the woman came at her forward and is the one that bashed her. Because a woman's going to go for the face yeah. like that. It feels like, I mean, I feel like all this hatred. There's a lot of hatred, 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 hatred. Yeah. Like, I oh, hate you. Okay. I'm And like, once you start, like, I can't stop. Like, it's one of those things, like, you know, when you get really ticked off and you want to take a bat and you just want to hit something and you just keep hitting and hitting it. I don't know if you've ever been in that situation yeah. where you've ever felt that way and you just don't stop until mm -hmm. your anger is gone. Like, that's the way it comes across. Like, I just, okay. like, she's in a zone of hatred. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And I, again, I don't know where, like, the, the thing comes comes around as far as, um, it feels like it's connected to the, the boyfriend she was with in some way, shape, or form. Like, either the timing of the relationship or something of that sort. I just don't know really what okay. it is. Like, maybe they didn't want that guy around the kids. Like, I don't know. There's something around the timing. Okay. You know, about why this this day 
why this time right. other than the fact right. that they um you know they they set her this was a setup in a way um or okay. or it was set up to i don't know i can't there's a reference to like a meeting too at some point too but i don't know what that is but it's almost like i don't know if um like she was going to meet somebody after she thought she was or she was jogging there to meet somebody like i know she did it all the time but maybe it's because i'm jogging here i'm going to meet you after my jog or i'm going to meet you here because i go jogging here like there's some kind of meeting that's taking place and i don't know if it was like to talk things out to work things out kind of thing like that's kind of okay. how it comes across all right but then at the same time like i'm caught off i'm caught off guard and and then maybe there was two people there, but I don't know. But it's, I really think that the woman went for the face. Like, that's okay. how it comes across. That's how much hatred I pick from this, this woman. And I hope that I'm understanding and perceiving all this right. Because it's, I think she really wanted me to come on here and say that there was two people or a man. Okay. That's also connected and involved somehow. Because okay. that's all I thought about for two days. Like, I keep bringing up a man, but I keep bringing up an African-American man, but I'm thinking that might connect to the teacher in the other okay. place. Um, okay. But also, there's been the last couple of times that people have been caught on the trail. There's been a couple, or joggers, there's a couple African-American perpetrators. Um, okay. So, I don't know if that's why I'm picking that up or because i know that girl i know the the teacher did come in so i can yeah. see maybe why if she's wanting to be heard i might have to end up working on her because she did interconnect this first reading um okay and she hasn't been found yet as far as i know so okay but I'm like, should I pull cards again? But then I'm like, I don't know, because I just want to kind of leave the cards I had. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, I feel like the people are, they're not who you were, would suspect to like do something like this, but there's still a background. There's still a background somewhere, maybe with the male, not so much the female. Like the, it, It's almost like they appear to be someone else, but they're not. Like, they appear to be yeah. these good people and everything and, and reformed, but, like, this was also a plan concocted that they feel like they could get away with. Okay. Like, I feel like they, they, like, right now they're freaking out. Yeah. It's almost like I can hear them freaking out or um, arguing or, like, having, like, discussions, like, are, you know, what did we do? Are we sure we did this right? Are you sure that's not going to come back to us? Like, I hear like a bunch, like someone's panic. The female's panicking. It's panicking, panicking, panicking yeah. because she, now she's starting to think that I leave anything behind. Did this was this not the perfect plan? Because sometimes people do get away with with unaliving and and making people go missing and they're never found. So I feel like they tried to make it the perfect murder. That's what right. I just heard. Yeah. And I saw it too, written out. You know, okay. isn't there? A show? There's a movie called The Perfect Murder. I have to watch that now because now I'm wondering if there's a reference for that <laughs> for some reason. But there's she's spelling it out in red. Perfect yeah. murder. Um, okay. But there is a dark colored. It, it comes across as an. I see it as an SUV, like. I just wonder okay. if it doesn't feel like a truck. It feels like an SUV. Um, but it's, it's like dark colored and the, the windows are tinted. But then there's also reference to like a car, like maybe a white car. Um, it's like the female hmm. in the, I don't okay. know, man. This is, I'm getting two vehicles. I also feel like they went like maybe separate directions, like okay. left separate directions from there. Um, okay. And in my last reading, I did get liquor store and the camera at the liquor store probably caught them. There is a liquor store down the street. So I've just, I, someone oh. like uh, validated that for me. So I would say that needed to be checked. 
either them going someone going by or something okay. like that it might be the female because i keep seeing a female driving like i don't think they came there in the same car i don't think they left at the same time like this feels like it was like this is planned like to the t Okay. Like, smart enough to think they were going to get away with it. Okay, I'm going to get a closing thing from her, and then I'm going to switch to Ted and see if he can give me anything extra. I don't know if he will. I got, I We're just I got two questions, it. though, for her. Yeah. Can I ask? You can, you can ask. I can't promise I'll get the answer. So the last social media post that she had is kind of weird. Is she the one that posted it, or was it somebody else? Can she tell you that or no? That I don't know. I was thinking about that, too. Okay, and then I'm wondering phone. if it wasn't somebody else. Do you know when it was posted? The day be right before she went missing. Yeah, but the time. Oh um, no, I don't. I didn't see. I didn't see the time on it. Because it feels like um, there's something with the timing of when she went missing. But I had thought that too. But obviously, this wasn't a uh, suicide. Yeah, obviously she didn't unalive oh. herself in this way unless she hired for it to be done, which I still don't see her leaving her kids that way. I She no. might have meant something completely different by it, and it's coming off another way. Or it might just make, make somebody posted it to make her look that way. But I don't, right. I mean, I'm not, I don't know. And then they haven't said if her phone was found, so I didn't know if you could get that. And then... um. I think her phone might have been in her car. Okay. I don't know, though, because we were talking about the last reading, how I was getting, like, you know, how when someone tracks someone, like, they can see the dot move. It was almost like I was seeing a dot move, like, on a phone. Like, that's what I was seeing. Like, she had a tracker or someone tracked her, but there was reference to her car being parked and possibly maybe her phone in there. But they might have been tracking her fitness thing. I don't know. Somehow someone was tracking her. Oh, okay. And then did it have something to do with the timing of the post of her and her boyfriend posting that they were together? Like, was that the reason? Well, yeah, that, that come in the last reading and that come in this one, too. That there's something around that relationship. We just okay. talked about that like 10 minutes ago. I know. <laughs> I, I just had my questions in my head. I had to ask them. I know no, you said it earlier, but, that but came I in, That earlier came in the I last kind of reading. But then also there's something about the timing of that. Okay. I'm curious if somebody else had like her social media stuff because I just heard I didn't post that. Okay. See, like, it is it possible that like... someone else posted it from her like phone? Or, That's why I was asking, or like, knew her, her login or something? Because it seems like they wanted to make her make it seem like like they knew she was gonna go missing, so they it's almost like they set it up that way. You know what I mean? I don't know if yeah. I'm making sense, but yeah. almost to make it seem like she was going to go off and do something like weird, but I don't know. Like the thought crossed my mind. Like she did, she have this paid, did she pay somebody to do this to her? Right. You know, but at the same time, I, it, that doesn't make sense to me because. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense to me. Either. I mean, I do feel like, like she might've been like a little, like the press and stressed out with the way her life was going um with, like there was a lot going on in her life so it comes across as being like kind of stressed out and ha like having a little bit of depression but i don't think to that point like i don't see her leaving her kids that way and i think that's why she showed like her hugging her kids and stuff like i don't and we all say things like that but i she just said i didn't post it so i don't know how somebody would have posted it but Right. If they have their just, login, I wonder if they can ping where that was actually yeah. posted from, like the what is it? It just kind makes of, me wonder the, the timing. Like, it, well, it makes me wonder the timing. Like, if she was already gone when that was posted, because there's something about the timing. Like, we don't know the exact time that this happened. We have an idea of when this what happened. It, she was found the next day, but we don't know the exact like time. Right. You know. 
But there's something weird about that post. She just, I just said it wasn't me. I just heard her say it wasn't me. Okay. I just feel like that was part of like the cover up type of thing. It That's why I wanted to ask. As a possible possibility thing, or to make her seem unstable or something. Yeah. But um. Can you check the IP think, address? Yeah, I think people were trying to. I think that they were. I don't know if like they were trying to gather things to make her seem unstable, to make her seem like a bad mom. But I still get like. <sighs> I hear like he was still hung up on me. So I don't know if there was somebody that was like hung up, but they, but it's still, she keeps taking me back to her kids. So it almost yeah. feels like a motive for the kids or, yeah. but that still doesn't make sense. Like, why would you do that to someone over your kids? I mean, it's been done before, I guess. Um, but there's still like a hatred of jealousy. Like I just keep seeing the woman, like other than looking at her through like a dirty glass, yeah. see her pretty clearly. Yeah. Like yeah. with her hair down and with her hair in a ponytail. And um, the one thing, oh, that reminds me, you're right, the dimples. So the last time that I that I saw and I was trying to draw when I was when I was trying to put like the composite up, I was trying to um find dimples because I was at yeah. least getting one dimple. Okay. And I couldn't find it on the composite, but I forgot to mention like that's what I'm seeing too. There's a mention of a at least one dimple. That keeps okay. coming, like, kind of like my how mine is, but um, or like Lizzie's is because she used Lizzie as like a like she looks similar to her, okay, not necessarily exactly, but like mm -hmm. similar features. Um, okay. so I need she's just reminding me of that because I forgot to mention it. So there's a she she keeps like hugging like her kids like she loves her kids she wants people to know she loves her kids like she says i may have not have been perfect i may have not have done everything the right way but i loved my kids regardless right. they yeah. you know i feel like she says they got her through a lot of hard times like i see her doing things with them and but at the same time she was still her own person and a lot of people might judge her for that they might judge her for being kind of a partier and things like that but it doesn't mean she loved her kids any less she still loved her kids she wants people to know that she loved her kids it's really important right and she loves her family yeah <laughs> and she shows me that she's got that baby that passed at the same time around the same time she did on the other side with her because she shows me holding a daughter i know that that's out there but i i'm still gonna say it because she shows it to me so yeah. um she her she niece. wants people she wants like if her brother ever sees this she wants them to know that she's got the baby on the other side she shows me holding okay. it so um that's something that's just important that needs to come out and again i know about it already so i'm not trying to say i don't know about it but if i see it i'm gonna say it that's just the way it is right <sighs> um okay so I'm going to try to talk to Ted and see if I can get any more. I can't promise I can get any more. We're going to, we'll see. Um, can I get a minute? Huh? Can I, can I take a minute out for a second? No, you're not allowed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go ahead. No. Okay. Go it. ahead. Just hurry. Uh, Tammy's got her kids and whatnot out right now. So um, that's one reason like we haven't been able to do much. She's been really busy with their children. So apologize for that. I have to bring in. I can't promise I'm going to get any more with him. Okay. Um, like I said, everything has timing. So um, get a woman really strong with this. Can't shake it. Okay. Okay. All right, Ted. We need to know if you can give me yeah. anything else on Rachel Moran. 
I just find it so odd that in the Delphi auto rights, I kept mentioning Morin, 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 but it came across yeah. as the the serial killer Morin. <laughs> right. <laughs> just odd. When I saw her last name, I was like, this is weird. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in the Delphi auto rights that are clicking right now that crazy. Yeah. All right. Okay, Ted, can you tell me anything else? I don't know what else I can possibly get, honestly, from a psychic standpoint. I wish it was as easy as um, this person and that person, and, and that's it. Like, yeah. it would be nice. <laughs> right. right? It's always, let's beat around the bush, and it's always, like, it doesn't work that way. My pen ran out of ink, which you can see why it ran out of ink. Oh, yeah. Kind of crazy on there. Um, I don't know if I have another one here. Sorry, guys. I need to see if I have another pen. I swear I did. Okay, right in here. Fine. Oh. Nope, that's not a pen. I thought it was. Well, check. okay. Well, I'll just pretend like I'm scribbling, I guess. <laughs> <It's more laughs> yeah, I have them. I just don't have them sitting right here. Oh, they're way over there. Do it fly. <laughs> huh? Okay. Come on, Ted. Um, Names. Huh? Yeah, I wish. Um, Ted, give us. <laughs> I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. Um, so mm, he keep he he just popped up the lovers card. What means by that, I don't know if that means couple. I don't know if that means like, I don't know what that means. Lover can mean lovers. Card can mean couple. Um. It can mean someone's right. lover. I don't yeah. think that the, I don't think that the current boyfriend is involved. I just I just don't get that vibe. Um, it doesn't mean it's not somebody connected to him, but the That's way it's happen. coming across, yeah. Um, yeah. So he shoots the lovers card at me, like I know tarot or something. Well, sometimes they do that, like <laughs> symbolism, like certain cards that I do know, like the tower card. I get that a lot of readings, like things falling, so they can, like I get that. So the ones I know they do use, but. Yeah, so he shows the lover's card. And then he also gives me two. So I don't know if that means two people, two months, two weeks, but two. Um, yeah. I don't know. He, uh, like, I see him in my mind's eye standing there <laughs> right now. <Yeah>. Uh, <laughs> talking about, like, he's he's nodding yes whenever I say that. They're involved. There's two involved, at least, in some way or another. I don't know if they were both there at the same time, but it comes across as they were both there, like with what I got in this reading. Um, yeah. There's also a mention of the, I don't know, he's saying the word silver, so I don't know if that's a color of something. Um, saying what? Silver. Okay. So the color of, color, I don't know if it's like maybe the white car is like a silver car. I don't know. There's something silver i don't okay. i don't know ted um Not to be more specific he's only gonna be able to tell me what he's allowed to tell me anyway so i know um i actually haven't talked to him in a while i was just gonna use him for the serial killer cases so i didn't have to connect oh, each victim yeah. you know um right
I don't know why he's putting me in a freaking church and singing gospel music at me. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Um, Are they religious? I don't okay. want to say that. I'll just say what I'm getting and I'll ever if it fits. Um, but I hear like like fake with it. Like, I don't know. Um, Because I hear like the word fake. Okay. Like someone's fake. Someone's acting fake. I don't know, Ted. Come on. Right? You don't need random shit. Um. Because he, like, throws the dice. Like, he rolls the dice at me, and I don't know what that means either. Okay. He kind of shows me the same thing. Um, I like I see her like running. Like I haven't looked at the trail. People told me to look at the trail, but I just haven't. Yeah, I don't know if I'll yeah. get more if I look at it. Maybe I should have because you know sometimes they say if you look at crime scenes, I just haven't even thought to look at it. Okay. I wanted to try to see in case I'm seeing anything in the area. Yeah, you know before I saw it, but um, there I keep seeing like I don't know if there's like. A I keep getting this trail and it's like it curves a little bit before it gets to the place where the tunnel is. But he keeps showing me like, again, I feel like there's one person, one place and one, one person, another or something like that. But um, I hear the word scuffle um, and overpowered and there's something with nails. So I don't know if the person that did this broke a nail or if there's something with her nails, but he's talking about okay. nails. Um, okay. So who knows? Maybe the person broke a nail in the, in the process and it, it's there or she got they were covered up. But there is a reference to the neck area, which came in before. Um, okay. Like of the perp, maybe the perpetrator. Um, right. Like maybe she tried to scratch or something like because I do feel like she tried to fight. But it's I, at the same time, I'm like, I, she's so caught off guard. You can't really, it's, the way that it happened, yeah. there's, it was a dazed and confused blitz attack. Like she, you know, that's, that's what I'm shown. But he's showing me two people, which is same thing she showed me. But now I'm like, is my mind going crazy? Yeah. But they're repeating it. They're repeating it. They're repeating it. They're repeating it. And now they're, yeah. they're like taking me back to those cases that we've talked about that I didn't know about that existed until yesterday about. Yeah. And I don't even know the cases. I didn't even look them up, but apparently it's a couple involved. Um, yeah. So I'm like asking him, like, is this somebody like random? No. Um, is this like the other attacks on the trail? No. Um, planned, cold, cunning, calculated. Couldn't have done it better myself, he says. Wow. And that's just him with his personality yeah. and the way he was yeah. when he was here. Not that he still has it, but. Right. He goes like this. He's like, it was a good plan. I'll give him that. So maybe they're thinking it's a good plan. Maybe he th he's thinking or he's saying he's agreeing that, yeah, it was a good plan. But he says at the same time, not good enough. Because I like I, I've seen her in jail and I've seen him in cuffs. So at some point they're going to get caught. Um, yeah. And that could be the two months. But I feel, I keep feeling like I need to do this reading because I keep feeling like something's going to come out. Like it's like before the end of this month, something's going to happen. Um, right. Because they're on this. They are on yeah. this and they are on this. Like they are combing everything with a fine tooth comb for some reason. They are on this. Because yeah. I think they want to make sure that there's no threat to the community. So they're really trying to find out who it is in case there is a threat to the community. So they're really on yeah. it. I'm asking him, like, not a sexual predator. I'm getting no. I just want to ask him and make sure. Yeah. What I'm getting is right. 
Because <laughs> right. he shows me too, this is going to be like twists and turns. Like this is going to be like, this is going to be really surprising to everybody. I don't think this is going to be anything anybody sus- expects. Just kind of like Idaho 4. Like the same kind of, I get kind of the same kind of feeling around it. Okay. Um, yeah. But I keep seeing breaking news, breaking news. So that tells me there's going to be breaking news about this soon that someone's going to get caught breaking news. Okay. Um, and they're referencing a house, um, someone being taken out of the house. It's a nice suburban type house, so it's nice. I don't, f- but it doesn't feel like it's in. I don't think it's in the area. Um, not this, not the exact area. Um, okay. But still, like they knew it or whatever. And I feel like this was this weird. He's showing me them timing. Them looking at a, someone's looking at a watch standing at one part where she was attacked and having the other person jog like we're timing to see how long it's going to take her from get to here from here and working it out that way. Like the timing of things, timing with the watch, you know, like they actually wow. it's yeah. almost like they went through this before whether they did it actually there or not, but they went through it before where they were going to attack her, how long it was going to take for her to get there. Like if someone's jogging at that pace, maybe even had like the woman jog to get to a a point, but the woman's really fit. Like, I think she's fit anyways. Like she's not, she's not a wussy. Like she's fit. And I get, she's taller. Like she is taller than the other one. Like I said, five, seven, five, eight, I think last time. And the man seems like he's a bigger dude, but um, I don't get much on him for some reason. I get a lot on her and I don't, maybe it was her idea. Maybe it was, you know, maybe she just really wants to point to her for some reason. Maybe she's the weak link. I don't know. Or he wants to point to her for some reason. I just heard like Bonnie and Clyde. So not that they're necessarily robbing banks, but it's another couple right. that yeah. were criminals. Um, yeah. There's a D that comes in. I get a J and a D. Okay. I don't know if they go together. Or they're two separate initials. I don't know. Okay. Um, but he showed me a D and he showed me a J. Okay. Um. And I feel like, like, besides the confrontation, he tells me that everything seemed fine. Like, she, other than there was, like, weird stuff going on or she thought, like, she was being watched or something like that. Like, I feel like people are nice to me to my face, but then there's a plan going on behind my back. Like, that's how it comes across. Like, and there might have even been, like, talk about a settlement or talk about this or talk about that. But behind her back, it's the opposite. Like. Okay. Someone was wearing a mask in regards to her and in regards to the world, like everybody that they knew. Like, I don't know. Um, but they will have to catch these people off guard and not let them know that they're on to them because um, there's a reference to not going down without a fight, not wanting to go to jail. Like, there could be like something you know okay around that um they feel around her age yeah. i also get 35 though so i don't know who that is um but they say 31 and 30. She, he gives me 31 and 35. I know she's 31, but I don't know if that means yeah. one of them is 31. Um, so I'm asking him two people and I'm getting a shaking of the head. Yes. So in what some way, shape or form, whether they were both there, I feel like from what, I mean, what they're showing me with two people, it could be literal or not literal, but right. like, it could just mean two people were involved. But the way that he's showing me that there was two people there and that's how she was subdued and taken out and all that. Like, yeah. It was like one helder will to start like that's how I get like one helder and then the other one came at her with a rock and then then that person let go and then now she's already on the ground and you know and wailing away like that's what I keep seeing. I apologize yeah. for the brutality of my my visions, but I have to say them or they will 
they have repeated. repeated for days. That specific vision has repeated for days. Um, he just said couple. And I see a wedding. So I don't know if that means that they're married huh. or engaged or he shows me a bride and a groom and says couple. Um, okay. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> 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 which, which makes me wonder about the lover's card, if that's what he meant by that. Right. I'm like, keep going, Ted. Keep going. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Give me more. Give me more. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I don't think that was me. Um, <coughs> sorry. I don't know if one of them has a record. I would, I would, I would think. I think it's more the male. Okay. <coughs> Dang it! I just keep coughing. I don't know if that's Ted or. Chill out, Ted. Um, but I do get, <coughs> I do get a chest with her. So at some point, I feel like there's a blow here. You know. Yeah. Um. Like thrown on her chest type of thing. Um, like maybe that's where a blow went, like a punch or a hit. Like it all fills up here. So Okay. Yeah. And there might even be some bruising on her stomach because they're showing me bruise he's showing me bruising on her stomach even. So I feel like she just got beat the crap out of, but mostly it was focused on the face. Okay. But he does keep showing me like a hair strand, but then again the nails. There he says they thought they were clean, but there's evidence. There's evidence. Yeah. Especially since they're combing it the way that they're combing it. Also, there's a ping phone. If they check the right phone, even though I feel like they turned them off, um, maybe it's going to show that they weren't at their residence or something like that. But they're showing me a phone and it pinging somewhere, like off a tower. But um, he takes me over to the railroad tracks, too. So I don't really know. Uh, maybe they yeah. park. I don't know. Can he park by the railroad tracks? I don't know. I don't know. Um, He okay. I don't know if this is related to this case or why he's showing me. It might be something with a timing thing, but I keep seeing a building blow up. So it might be a building blow up the day that they get arrested. Not necessarily connected to them, but a timing thing. Okay. okay? Unless it's symbolic, it might not be okay. literal. It might just be like everything blew up in their face. It might be like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. So we'll have to see and wait Either and way. see. <laughs> I'm getting no a way. reference to <laughs> getting a 27. Yeah. So the, the 27th okay. um, is, is what, I don't know of what month. I, I want to say it's this month, but <laughs> with Quentin, I thought it was that month. It was a prior, it was the next month. Remember? I it got was the, next month. It was the yeah. next month. Yeah. So I don't know, but there's something about this month that I can't let go of. And that's why I've been rushing to get these readings done because I feel like I want to put this out before. Because I feel like yeah. it's it's really going to be like a bombshell, literally. Like, yeah. like everybody's going to, like, whoa. Because everybody's already down the rabbit hole. It's already another yeah. Idaho 4, which I knew it was going to be, like, before it happened. And this is when I said, like, there's, I don't know if anybody saw my community post, but I said there's going to be another big case. And Spirit told me to prepare yeah. for the big case. And yeah. so when I saw this, I was like, holy crap, is that the big case? Right. Because for right after that, that's when I started seeing the rock while. come at me. Well, that's when I started yeah. seeing the rock come at me. And then I felt the urge to work on it kind of like I did Idaho 4. So whenever I feel that push and whenever I start getting things like Kylie, when I saw the the, yeah, the, the card water. on the water before we knew it was her. And I saw and this time I saw the rock coming at me. I just didn't put it together. Um, it's it's that's the cases I'm supposed to work. So, right. And it feels like spirits pushing me because there's a reason for it. So I'm just trying to follow. 
Um, right. I keep getting like a bigger guy and like, I, I can't shake this like plaid shirt. Okay. It's like a brownish like plaid, but it's got like white and maybe blue, but it's like a plaid like short sleeve shirt. I don't know if he always wears those or that's something that he wears. Okay. Um, and they're like, again, I hear criminal past. So there's a criminal past connected to it, but it's almost, but then he says she's like goody goody. Okay. Like maybe she doesn't have a past, but he does. But maybe he's like, at the same time, like she she obviously has some sort of dark side or something. I don't know. That maybe we'll, right. she didn't even know she had. She like she, maybe <laughs> she didn't even know she had. Like maybe she could be two different people. Like she she yeah. appears one way to the world, but she's really another kind of how like it comes across. Um, I don't know how to like I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. He's making my bot my body aches now. Like my shoulders and stuff they ache. Um, oh, no. Stupid fly. <laughs> also getting the color orange. I have no idea what that means. Okay. Hmm. No idea. Okay. Um, I keep seeing the silver bracelet, so there's gonna be an arrest. Again, That's good. not as smart as they thought they were. That comes in. All right. Um You know, there's some kind of business that comes in around one of them, too. I don't know what kind of business that is. I keep getting, like, a business vibe. Okay. Keep taking me back to the train tracks on the train. I don't fucking know. I keep hearing it. Okay. I don't know. If that's case, this case or not. It, it kind of feels like maybe evidence is that way or they went that way or unless it's connected to another case. Like, it's very coming in very strongly. Um, okay. To camera by trains. I don't know. It's almost like maybe they went a back way or they put evidence there thinking or they dropped evidence or there, you know, there's a blood trail, something, there's something over there or they went that way or it could connect to another case that I don't know yet that might be similar or something. But, um, I mean, I'd be curious if in the other one, if there's not a train by there, like she hasn't been right. found yet. So maybe they need to look by the tracks. Um, I don't know. Okay. I also get an H. I'm not sure where that comes in at. Um, I know. He kind of just says, like, that's all I can tell you. I wonder if I should pull some cards real quick. Okay. Like I think they I think they've both given me given us a lot but um like it's going to be it's going to there's going to be an arrest anyways we're going to find out soon anyways. They're very adamant yeah. about that both of them. And I can okay. see her standing with him. Um Aww. I did hear X though but I don't want to I kind of don't want to say that because it's like I don't know if that's my mind or not. Right. Because of what I feel. 
or the way that it's going, but I'm just going to say it because he's she's like bumping him like tell her that like I can Kay. see it. So I'm just going to say. <laughs> I hope I'm not way off and it's not like who we were talking about before as that would be. I don't know how I would oh, get all this. So I'm not totally making uh, it up in my mind. So, you know. Um, well, unless they're related and we just don't know it. I don't know. I don't think the, da the daughter has anything to do with it. I think it was more like she didn't want to be involved. So she told her dad and her that's, you know. And his personality right. comes off weird. I don't know. Like, everybody's like, well, he has a ponytail, but, and I thought, like, maybe it's a guy with a ponytail, but I don't think so, because it, it's got uh, the woman's body. Right, yeah. And I'm not the only one getting there's a female involved in this. I was yeah. just the first one to say it. I just needed the yeah. validation from everybody else. Right. <coughs> Why, I don't know. But, because it's so off the wall. Like, I don't know. I second guess when things are weird. Right. I don't know. I got weird cards this time, but I did get assassination. Okay. Child. I feel like he's connected to the child. There's like other cards that don't make any sense. Thief. I don't know if one of them has thief in their background. Male. Okay. Royalty. I don't know. Um, royalty, I always take as someone like a higher, like has become. It doesn't necessarily mean they were like, right. they're looked up upon as like a, I don't take as like royalty, like with a king or queen or like rich or anything. Like I take it like as right. someone like a higher influence. Um, okay. Someone people look up to. Yeah. So. I mean, the the, kid, the child came in again. Law enforcement, I think there's going to be an arrest. I, I, I don't pull law enforcement like someone's in law enforcement, I think. Right. And I think, and I also got the Mockingbird thing, which means the media is hiding stuff. They're not, or I mean, the cops are hiding stuff. They're not not putting it all out there. Like, this oh, is going to be a surprise yeah. when, they, of when they arrest them. And it could be before the 27th, but the 27th came in really strong. So before they, um, like, you're not going to know. It'll just, like, be, like, breaking news, like. As right. I said, like I keep getting like a breaking news sign and somebody being taken away in handcuffs. Um, yeah. Then the guy seems bigger. I don't know. The female is like, <sighs> I don't know. My head hurts really bad all of a sudden. Um, you pull, Can you pull location for evidence? See if you get that train. Well, that's why I was getting was the trash can. Um, I'm wondering if they didn't burn something because that fire came in, but I don't know if the fire was connected to the Maui thing because I got it the night before that happened. But um, okay. the I keep getting like the trash can, and then I keep getting over by the and I, I mean I basically Dream. got all the evidence that the, the strand of hair, the nail, like there's that's basically yeah. Um, I would check like in the trash cans like under stuff in the like they didn't just like drop it in the top of the trash can like. They like, so right. push down, and now it might already been taken out. I don't know when right. they changed the trash cans. You know, I don't know. But it's almost like they had a backpack with like a bag in the backpack, like a like a plastic bag or a trash bag, and then it's like they put every like you know how like you would put a trash bag in a in a backpack, and then um, yeah, you like put yeah. stuff in the trash bag, tie it, and then put it in the backpack, and then go down the trail, and then take it out and shove like the trash bag underneath everything like that's how it comes across like a black trash bag okay um and i mean the blue the trash cans are blue they're just not exactly as i was seeing them i was seeing them like with the, the guard on the top you know how they have like the circle yeah. that, like the the guard with the circle but they yeah. are blue so i don't yeah. know if i don't know if it's those trash cans or it's someone like one like near the park with like the guard on it i don't know i'd be curious because i keep seeing right. it that way and it might not be okay. literal. It might be literal, but I keep seeing it with the guard and the circle on the top of it. Okay. But it's almost like someone like it's shoved underneath stuff. Like I keep getting yeah. um, like fast food stuff, like a fast food bag. Okay. Yeah. 
So that kept coming in the last reading. That's coming in this reading. So I think they did throw something away. And then again, the, the train tracks keep coming in, but then there's a reference to a nail. So it's either her nail or they're one of her or the woman's nail. Like okay. maybe her nail broke off or something, but also there might be something under it. Cause I keep getting reference to maybe I got the neck or something, or I don't know, because oh. I feel like they're pretty covered up, but um, right. they're pretty, it's, they're pretty covered up because they didn't want to get blood on them. Cause they're not going to run through the trail with blood on them uh, the way that it right. comes across, you know? So <clears throat> I just hope this is right. <laughs> because <laughs> my my mind keeps thinking like well it's got what if it's you know what if i'm going through all this and there's someone freaking random that just like was obsessed with her and wanted to take her out like but i didn't make all this up so it can't be like there's a lot of stuff that i've gotten that's been validated already you yeah. know so usually if stuff is validated that means that it's i'm obviously talking to the spirit or i wouldn't know it it's like stuff i didn't know about her. right um I don't know. I just, I wish I could get more. Well, there might be, I heard third party. So there might be a third party that knows something. Um, it's weird. I pulled the assassination card and I kind of got like, the yeah. Number. Yeah. Um, but I pulled different cards, but they still make sense this time. But I know what I pulled the first time, so um, and maybe she just really wants me to know that there's a woman involved. Jeez, man, the man seems like he's got like facial hair, and he's also got brown hair. I mean, that's how I see him, like okay. the same color as hers. Um. He, they both look jacked up when they show me. Like, I don't know. I can't, like I said, it's like seeing them through a dirty glass. Um, so they're not as clear as I would like. And my um, my sketch, the first time I did, will not be exact because I didn't have the right, like, there's certain things I didn't have. And I'm, I'm taking from a dirty glass and I'm trying to put it on a, like, composite and it's not. It's not right. easy, so it's not going to be perfect. Yeah. It's not going to be exact, but it'll it'll give you an idea or a sense of what I'm looking for. Yeah. I just couldn't put dimples on it or a dimple on it, but I remember that was coming in because she was reminding me. But it was like she kept bugging me, like you need to go back on there because you're forgetting stuff or you're not you're not getting stuff or you're not saying it, and I need to I need you to say it kind of thing. So that's why I was like, well, I got to do another reading because it's just been bugging me for like days. And that yeah. night after the reading, like, I started not feeling good. And I'm like, Liz Lizzie, she's bugging me. Like, I don't feel good. Yeah. And she's making my, my and, and they don't mean to do that. It's just when they're, like, around. And, you know, I just started right. not feeling good as far as my head and my neck and everything like that. Because, um, I mean, my neck feels like it's also, which makes sense because it's also connected to the head. Um, yeah. But she might have had, like, a broken something in the neck in the vertebrae because I'm getting okay. that and like right here um like where the base that's where it was hurting at the other day like right here in the base okay. um so that might be too because I feel like um I don't know the just the way it comes across is like I'm on the ground someone's smashing me and like I've seen that for days and I, I I'm saying it because I can't get rid of it um it like won't go away <laughs> That won't go away. And I'm like, okay, I get the idea. I get the idea. Yeah. But that one, that part was like really repeating. Yeah. But I'm hearing like, like it's like you're going to least ex suspect it. But I'm so, I, I'm like lost because I know the cops are thinking it's like some young guy that att attacks people on trails. Like, like most of the cases. <laughs> right. But it's just not coming across that way. It didn't come across that way before I knew anything. That's why I was like totally second guessing everything because I kept getting a woman involved. And I've never, I mean, I've gotten women involved in kids' cases. So I kind of right. know how it looks like that. But when it comes to another woman, I've never gotten a woman or a couple involved. So I don't really know how that looks. Yeah. And I'm trying to translate it. And I'm also second guessing because I've never gotten it before. And this is the first case I've seen like that. But I guess there's cases like that. I don't know. Like that kind of stuff yeah. just makes me like question because it seems like it's off the wall, you know? Yeah. But 
I mean, let's look, look right. at all the stuff that's happening. I guess there's not anything that's too far off the wall these days. Right. I guess anything goes and I'll just say whatever I'm getting and I hope that it makes sense and I'm perceiving it right. And I never want to, I never want to point fingers or, you know, and in, insinuate anything because it could be picking up people because they're just in her life or they surround her or whatever. But, um, yeah. I mean, Ted seems to, I mean, he gave some more clues, whatever he could. Yeah. Yeah. But I know I did see a D, like, he, like, threw it at me. Like, it can't, it's weird. Sometimes when he gives me letters or even spirit, it'll start, like, from back up and it'll go move forward. And sometimes it'll just oh. pop up. So I see okay. it. I don't just, and sometimes I hear it, but sometimes I'll see it. Right. Um. I need to watch the perfect murder and see if there's any reference to that because I heard it, but I yeah. don't know if it's just, he's called, they're calling it that or if it has anything to do with the right thing. I've never seen it. So I don't know, but I heard like third party. So I don't know if a third party knows or a third party's involved and like, this is all symbolic. I don't know. Like it's hard to. Okay. Cause I think people need to understand that they are taking, like they're trying to telepathic communicate to me and I have to make sense of what they're saying. And it's not always easy. It's not always right. easy to translate. It's like translating Spanish. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I've had to, I've had to learn my own communication with spirit in order to try to understand what they're saying. And especially if they show me new stuff, I like, I, it's hard to understand. So yeah. I just want people to know and understand that before like they come on like, you should know who it is. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, but I think we'll know soon enough. That's the way it comes across. Okay. So anything else, Tammy? I think I'm done. No. No? Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing. We will see you next time. Thank you, guys. Bye.